All right, two real quick videos here to show a little bit of the clips from them as the uh, alt-right Catholicism builds, continues to build in America here. I saw this thing, Freedom News TV National, either we all go home or nobody goes home, armed malicious protest, arrested school board meeting in Virginia. And I just thought, okay, what's this all about? And uh, watching this whole thing, these guys go out here to this uh, school, and they're all armed up and everything else. And um, where's the thing out here? Yeah, this, this guy right here. I'll play a little bit of this. Union of Saints, the forgiveness of sins. Preacher, Virginia Kikoas or whatever else. Uh, Michael's Friends, St. Michael's Friends. The Red Crusader Cross. Remember that. That's going to be important. What's he doing? The resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Yes, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Repetitious prayers. Huh. Remember I did a video on that. Stand, just kneeling down there, these uh, patriot guys, these militia, right-wing militia guys. That, well, they're for America. I'll actually know they're for the Vatican when the Vatican tells them to do something, but then they'll be America second to that. Uh, you know, their allegiance is to the Vatican first. Every Catholic has to swear that, have that double citizenship there, that oath that they swear um, that they're into and everything else. Uh, the, when you get into confirmation and all that other stuff is what I'm talking about. But uh, Roman Catholic militia, hmm, the, he's the preacher for the militia there. Don't worry about that. Yeah, when the Pope, you know, tells you what to do, you'll you'll say, hey, no, that has, I have constitutional rights. No, you actually do what the Pope tells you to do. So and then this other one, a brother sent this to me, uh, to my email. This is pretty interesting here. This uh, Steve Bannon guy was in the Trump, um, on the Trump team or whatever. Listen to what he says here. And I remember saying, I don't remember which study it was, brethren. I don't remember. If you remember, you can put it in the comment section down below. But I made a comment at one point in time about, um, let me go back here. I said that these papists are going to come out and they might even be using the King James Bible in the future, the Antichrist army, because they realize the power of the King James Bible. I don't know. But listen to this, what he says here. Conference here, um, streamed one month ago. Uh, so listen to this. Why did you approve the omnibus bill? Why did you just give him $15 trillion to spend? If you want to stop the child trafficking, stop the child trafficking. Cut the money off. I'm going to give you the sound of freedom. The sound of freedom is on the afternoon, 500 and what, 44 days from now, or 584 days from now, on the afternoon of the 20th of January, in the year of our Lord, 2025, when Donald Trump... When Donald Trump takes his hand off the King James Bible. When Trump takes it off the King James Bible. See how they're getting people ready? That's the bait that they're going to use. Donald Trump, the actor that has the morals of an alley cat. And all these, you know, Bible believers. I'm a King James only Bible believer. I'm for Donald Trump. He's an actor. He was trained by Jesuits. Don't you people get that? But, you know, oh, he takes his hand off the King James Bible. <laughs> Thinking, oh, boy. People walking right into a trap, right into the Antichrist system. But they say, oh, come on, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, then let's listen here a little bit further along. And all these Baphics are just going to go completely just head over heels in love with the guy when that whole thing happens. But listen here. I get that. Okay, right about there. Listen to this. And now that Ron DeSantis has worn out his welcome and he's doing Howard Kurtz on a Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock with an audience of 50 people saying, well, Donald Trump didn't really actually get, no, come on, man, knock it off. Ready? Grow up. And I got news for Glenn Youngkin and Kemp and anybody that's the next guy in the, because Murdoch's out there, he's out there, out there in, uh, in the Davos and Sun Valley. He's going, you know, I think Youngkin could be a very serious or Kemp. Come on down, bring it, because we'll destroy you just like we destroyed DeSantis. 
We don't have time for a diversion. We need to be focused right now on the election apparatuses in Wisconsin, Georgia, Arizona, and to get behind Donald Trump and get serious about taking this country back. Listen to what he says. This is a crusade. This is a holy war against the deep state. A crusade? A holy war against the deep state? What did the guy have on his uh, thing there? Life everlasting. Yes. The Lord is with me. Can I get back to it here? Like church, the communion of saints. It says, just set it out there. Let me back it up here so you can hear that. Sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church. The Holy Catholic Church. <laughs> yeah. The communion of saints. Crusade. We need a crusade, a holy war. Listen to a little bit more. Donald Trump is our instrument for retribution. I don't want to hear Glenn Youngkin in a vest. I don't want to hear Kemp with his George axe. I don't want to hear it. Donald Trump is our instrument for righteous indignation. <laughs> okay. So God's going to use a man like that? Please. Uh, Donald Trump is the one that uh, was coming in with the whole Operation Warp Speed. You know what that led to? Donald Trump is the one that did four quantitative easing cycles that... Uh, destroyed our nation with all the debt and everything oh but he did some other stuff what yeah come on but uh, hey if you're for the papal crusade what can I say um, the bod body of Christ has to do what's right according to the scriptures we can be neither right or left okay in terms of you know true right-leaning politics and conservatism and things like that of course we're part of that but the right in and the left work together if you haven't figured that out by now so, you know, Donald Trump was a liberal leftist, you know, pro-sodomy and everything else, you know, for most of his life. Then he said, I'll run for president and run as a Republican. He's a speech reader. He's an actor. But uh, if you don't know what's going on, you can see this stuff. It just further reinforces what the Bible teaches. Mystery Babylon, the woman rides the beast. And uh, Roman Catholic Church, purples are, or her collars are purple and scarlet. So I just thought I'd share that. Uh, thank you to the brother that sent that. I'll be sending you an email to thank you for that. But uh, if you see this before that, thank you. Just been really busy trying to get stuff done. So uh, that is going to be it. Um, again, go check out our website, kjvm.org. Um, King James Radio Ministries. And uh, thank you to all out there for supporting the ministry. And uh, please do keep us in your prayers. We'll see you in the next video.